Alright guys, so welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be showcasing Albedo with Avatar almost max skill tree. She has around 20,000 kills. It's not my unit. She's going to be a really broken unit. One of the best units currently in the game, and he has the best trait, the 0.1 Avatar on it. So if you guys do not know what that does, with bleed or burn units, it basically does 4.5 times burn or bleed, something like that, whatever it is. And on top of that, it's 225% damage, 20% range, minus 15% SPA. It has a little crit buff, but it's only a one placement unit. Basically, if you get this on a unit like Saitama, I actually do have an Avatar Saitama. It's not very great unless it's Eva when it comes out it does have like burn or bleed something like that it would be pretty useful but before we get into the showcase i'm 100 subs off of 40k make sure you guys do like subscribe if you guys have not already we're almost there get me to that 40k mark let's get straight into the showcase i'm going to go over to namek nightmare of course go ahead and start that so if you guys do not know angel that is actually albedo right there she's a really good bleed unit probably just as good as guts i did bring it this time so we can do a little comparison but the one thing i did not bring is a starter unit whoops so i was gonna place that on our guts right here and that should be good enough
Alright, so he did max up both of his farms, so we should be ready for this. Let me just go ahead and do that. There we go, the range buff. Okay, so this is Albedo on placement with Avatar, 11.5k, 23 range, and a 3.47 second SPA. Now, if I'm not mistaken, he did go for a damage build on her. This is her first attack right here, if you guys have not seen her. But yeah, she's like the second, maybe even the third best bleed in the game. Number one is definitely Sakuna. Number two is between her or Guts, I have no idea. So he can just start upgrading whatever he wants to, basically. Now that we have that off, 13.9k to 21.4k. She goes up from 216 to 24 range. Her SPA actually does not change. That is her true SPA right there, 3.47 seconds. It's actually not 5.1. It's just kind of bugged. I don't really understand what's going on with it right now. 23,000 damage, 28.7 range, 3.47 second SPA, and she got a bigger AoE on top of that. She gets some more range. It is not a new attack. It's just bigger range. I don't know. Upgrade again. She goes up from 24 range to 48 on this one right here. So now she's at 48 range, 32,100, 48 range, 5.1 seconds to 64,348 range also. The other range in the SP doesn't really change much from this. 64,300 or 69,100, 57.5 range. That's with the Oshi buff though. If it was no Oshi, she would have around 48, yeah. And so the 3.47 second. 115 or 107,048 range. You can't really keep track of it because there's 115 right there, 107 right there. So this thing's a little bit broken. I don't know if like Oshi's doing a slight buff or it's just a little broken right now. 161,000, 57.5 range, 3.47 second. The range in the SP don't change whatsoever once you get it to the 48 range upgrade. Just to let you guys do you know 182k 48 range 5.1 seconds upgrade once again this one got a massive look at this yes sir as we like to see now it is doing bleed so avatar is going to do its best right here to make this unit really good 278,000 48 range and a 5.1 second spa but it's actually three seconds so you're attacking this fast every three seconds now compared to my guts i think his upgrade will have six seconds maxed out if i'm not mistaken there's an upgrade nine she is still a ground unit bleed 332,000 48 range 5.1 seconds and the last upgrade 426,000 48 range and a 5.1 second SPA but the true is right here 458,000 damage 57.5 range with the Oshi buff in a 3.47 second SPA and on top of that he said she does 644,000 bleed I guess he already calculated it I'm pretty sure it does a lot more than that though I'm pretty sure the bleed damage is normally 3x if I'm not mistaken I don't remember what it was it could be changed a bit now but now the unit is hybrid if I do compare it with my guts so if I place it on avatar guts right next to hers and Max out is doing 602,000 damage. So this is a difference right here. You can tell there's oh four seconds. Okay, never mind. He's a lot better than I thought he was. So he actually has more damage, a lot less range. He has full AoE. He does not hit airs, and he has a 4.72 second SPA. So I mean the SPA actually maybe her SPA actually is 5.1 seconds. I have no idea. But if we do compare it like that, then his SPA would actually be better than Albedo's. His range is worse, a lot worse though. But this has I think only plus five percent range on his entire build, and he also has Avatar Sakuna. So it looks like we're comparing all three. All three of the best bleeds in the game, all with Avatar. Wow. 395,000 or 62 range, 3.73 second SPA. But yeah, looking at all these, the best damage, guts, best range, Sakuna, obviously, because he is a line AoE. He's absolutely insane. And the best SPA is going to be Sakuna also. So Albedo is beaten in all three categories, which is kind of crazy, but she still does have a massive range AoE and she does hit airs, which Sakuna also does. So hybrid, she's the second best hybrid bleed in the game for sure, because, you know, guts is not hybrid bleed. He's still an absolutely insane unit, but he is the best ground unit in the game currently, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, Al Albedo is definitely up there. She's a really good unit. If you get Avatar on her, the best trait. Congrats to you, I guess. But yeah, guys, that is going to be for the showcase, though. I'm surprised he already has two Avatar bleeds. You got really lucky with those. A shout out to, shout out to Yuko's Bacon Boy. I appreciate it with the showcase. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching to the end of the video. Peace out.